Richard, can you tell me some of the key methods for tackling overuse of antibiotics? First of all, uh, you want to use antibiotics for the right patients and at the right time. So uh, there should be guidelines for the prescribers on what infections need treating uh, and what antibiotics to use. And those guidelines should be based on what the local causes of infections are. So, for example, there might be a New Zealand guideline that is based on the bacteria in New Zealand that cause a certain disease like pneumonia. And there may be a local guideline in a hospital or in a community based on the local bugs that um, cause urine infections and what their susceptibility uh, patterns are. Um, there should be restrictions on some of the more expensive antibiotics, in particular the antibiotics that you want to uh, save for the future or that are potentially toxic or that are um, very expensive and um, uh, should only have a limited um, indication. Uh, there should be support for the prescribers. For example, a junior doctor who wants to use a, an antibiotic for an, a patient with an infection but they're not sure about the dose or they're not sure if it's indicated or not it's useful for them to be able to discuss it with a pharmacist or discuss it with a microbiologist or, or an infectious diseases specialist and that support should be available by phone uh, face to face or um, through written guidelines and um, other written tools like um, uh, like if you have a septic patient in the emergency department then Maybe you could develop uh, an audit tool or, uh, that, that can be worked through by the doctor when they're um, admitting or clerking in or assessing uh, one of those patients. Okay, and is this a role you see as pharmacists play? Yeah, yeah. pharmacists play a big role in every aspect of antibiotic prescribing and support. So uh, pharmacists should be involved in the committees uh, that are discussing and developing and implementing antimicrobial stewardship programs. Pharmacists should be involved in the writing of guidelines. Uh, pharmacists can be involved in the day-to-day support for prescribers by phone or on ward rounds uh, or in the general ward environment. Pharmacists can, um, have, can do audits and help feedback to the prescribers and educate the prescribers. Um, pharmacists can get involved in monitoring the restricted drugs and making sure that they are used appropriately.